Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Daily Aviation Channel. Today, I'm glad to present to you five aircraft that few people know were built by Boeing. The Boeing X-51 Wave Rider is an air-breathing, scramjet-powered hypersonic aircraft manufactured by Boeing, Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne, and the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA. U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, operated the aircraft. The project completed 200 seconds of flight time with a top speed of Mach 5 in its maiden flight. The X-51 was snuggled into the wing of a B-52 bomber and released at an altitude of 50,000 feet. A solid rocket booster boosts the aircraft up to Mach 4.5. Then, X-51's scramjet engine, fueled by military fuel JP-7, propels the aircraft to an altitude of 70,000 feet, reaching Mach 5. Okay, can you see it? I can. More left, more left. Okay. okay, I got him now. I got him now. We're fine. Good trajectory. She's climbing straight. Okay. Uh, switch is safe. YAL-1 is an airborne laser, ABL, that uses high-energy laser beams to intercept and destroy ballistic missiles at their boost phase. A Boeing 747-700F aircraft was modified to accommodate the airborne laser and associated installations. Since the first test flight from 2002 to 2011, where the project was canceled, the U.S. government has spent around $5.2 billion on the entire project. The swivel turret, fitted to the nose, receives the main laser beam generated by a megawatt chemical oxygen iodine laser, COIL, and focuses the beam to the target by telescopic mirrors. The laser beam heats a spot on the target, leading to an explosion. Boeing shuttle carrier aircraft, SCA, are none other than conventional B-747s modified to piggyback the shuttle. Two shuttle carriers served under NASA to bring orbiters from landing sites to the space stations. The first shuttle carrier entered into service in 1977, and both carriers were retired in 2012. Special strengthening measures have been taken to improve the load-carrying capacity of the aircraft by adding extra reinforcement layers to the location of the three protruding struts, where the shuttle is attached. In order to improve the directional stability, two additional vertical stabilizer tabs were added to the end of the THS.
A combination of special crawler cranes hoist the orbiter when attaching or taking off from the shuttle carrier aircraft. The demated carrier is then mated to a mover to transport the carrier to its resting place until the next mission. Developed from Hawker Siddeley Harrier, which is the world's first vertical short takeoff landing V stall aircraft, it entered into service in 1985 and in service with the United States Marine Corps as the primary operator. Powered by a single Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan engine that receives airflow from two intakes, engine exhaust is routed through four exhaust nozzles, two in the cold end of the engine and the other two near the hot end. Thrust vectorizing through the nozzles gives the fighter jet the ability to perform vertical landings and minimize landing and takeoff roll. Fuel capacity can be increased by adding two external drop tanks. Also, air-to-air -air refueling is possible through a probe and drogue system to improve the combat radius. E3 Sentry is an Airborne Warning and Control System AWACS, developed by Boeing. The first E3 entered into service in 1977 and is still used today by the United States Air Force, France, NATO, and Saudi Arabia. The main tasks of the E-3, Airborne Surveillance, Command, Control, and Communication, C-3, are performed by the crew assigned in 14 command and control stations with the cabin. Popularized by several Hollywood movies, the most distinctive part of the aircraft is, without a doubt, the rotating ray dome. The rate of revolutions varies depending on the active scanning mode of the rotodome. The multi-mode radar can be used for airborne surveillance and surface surveillance under maritime mode. Contact. Contact. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video, and if you haven't done it yet, don't hesitate to subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you next time for a new awesome aviation video.